James didn't necessarily tell me what he wanted out of Johnny. It's, yeah. It seemed like he kind of, he thought that I already knew what to do. But my first conversation with him, it was, it was with Banks. We had first met him in his office and he was just saying how our whole experience in New York was gonna be one of the best times in our lives and yeah. I, Jalen said it all in the first sentence. Yeah, he did not describe too much about how, what he wanted for Paul, but that's kind of, that's not a negative thing. That's a positive because he was seeing what I could do and then mm -hmm. from that he tweaked it and made it his own. So that's what I find impressive about James. Johnny is a 14-year-old, rebellious, adventurous, creative kid who dreams of going to NASA. He just wants to have fun, and he doesn't have as many advantages as others. Paul's an artist, and he's rebellious also, and even more when he meets Johnny. <laughs> he realizes that it's them two against the world, and nobody's going to stop them. When it comes to Paul and Esther, I think I think it's confusing because from Esther's point of view, she has a flip flop because there's a way where she sees Paul as this bad kid who really she sees him as Irving would. And then there's the way, oh it's just my cute little son, he has nothing at all. And then from Paul's point of view, I think it's kind of different. It's He's in his own world, and that's just his mom. He feels betrayed. It's at that point when he finds out that he has to change schools. That's it. It's only Johnny, and it's only Grandpa. That's only them two. Those are the only people he can trust and love. Everybody else is against him. and. When he goes to the school, he's confused because he doesn't know how to act. He doesn't know if he should take this seriously or he doesn't know where to go. He doesn't know anything. He has no insight. When it came to working with them and being on set, Jeremy preferred to stay in character, which I found impressive because he really stayed in character even through his personal life. When it came to crew members, he preferred them to call them Irving and Annie. I'm pretty sure she was inspired by that. So they are all very good actors and it made my job easy because they made it fun and exciting. Every time when we weren't working, when both of us were free, that was, we, always hung out, you know. We uh, we went to different parks, like Liberty State Park. We just, we had a lot of opportunities to get to know each other better, and that's what really helped our friendship. Because even after not seeing each other for like six months, we're still, we still have that bond. And I'm not sure if I speak for Jalen, but my, my favorite moment with Jalen offset was definitely when we went to explore the neighboring hotel. That- <gasps> Oh my gosh, yes, that was yes. So oh, fun. okay. <laughs> So there's a terrace down below, and then here's our hotel, the neighboring hotel. And everybody is down chilling over at the terrace. The moms are, you know, enjoying life, just having some <laughs> wine and stuff. And me and Jalen are off to the side, just seeing the view and having everything. And then there was a door that leads to the other hotel. And we're I said, we're like, hmm. I said, Jalen, I dare you to go open that door and see if it opens. And of course and I did. Of course, <laughs> it, it surprisingly opened. I was so surprised it wasn't locked. So eventually we came up with this mission. Let's go explore the hotel. We ended up going through a staircase that mm -hmm. went to a floor on the hotel. And then we took an elevator that went to a terrace that was above that one. Yes. <laughs> and it was fun from there because there, the terrace expanded a lot. There was a basketball court. And yeah, it was amazing. We and called it the Davis Graph mission. Yeah. Yes, it was great. And then we told what happened at the end with the security guard. Oh, uh, and the probably the best part was the thrill of almost getting in trouble. Yeah, it's, the security guard was like, yeah, you guys need to leave now. And then we 
yeah, and that's how it ended. <laughs> yeah.